know they're all. Well, for those of you who think I might be crazy, maybe I am. <laughs> it's uh, the 6th of November today, and I've just arrived here on the beach. As you can see, I'm just setting up the tent. Because I'm going to be wild camping here tonight. Uh, weather not too bad, it's a bit breezy. But they reckon it's about, know, about 12 degrees today. And it's going to drop to about 8 tonight, so I thought that's the weather ain't too bad, except for the wind obviously. I'll come for a, a wild camp on the beach. Uh, sorry about the wind noise. I uh, just thought I'd let you know where I am, what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think the tent is pitched up reasonably well, it looks a little bit wonky in the wind. But yeah, it's pitched up on a reasonable bit of flat ground. I'm down, not on top of the ridge there, where well, I just was a second ago showing the water. Uh, there was another flat spot here I could have chose. Um, but I didn't want to be too close to bins over there. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. I've all my winter sleeping gear, uh, my down sleeping bag and everything. I've got new winter. Uh, foam filled uh, air mattress um, which I'll, I'll show you in a little bit I've used it this will be my fourth time uh, I'm quite impressed with it it's quite comfortable and it does seem to really insulate me from the ground so yeah uh, like I say I'm really looking forward to this stay with me enjoy my crazy overnight wild camp in November on the beach Unpacking. Well, I'm in the middle of unpacking. Uh, my kitchen's all laid out, so I've got some gas over the back there. Uh, they're quite empty, so I've bought two of them. Then I've got my frying pan and my plate, uh, a food bag there with chocolate bars and nibbles and whatever you're in, a salad pot, I've got some lettuce and tomato in there, and I've got a couple of eggs in there. And my coffees, my beers, <laughs> yeah, cheese singles, ketchup, barbecue sauce, quarter pounders, meatsters, three in one coffees, uh, three in one Nescafe caramel coffees there, uh, my water, this has got me knives and forks and things in it. It looks wet because on the way here, this can somehow got a bit squashed and got a hole in it. <laughs> so I'm um, uh, having to dry a few bits off. I've got a jar there with um, coffee and coffee mate already mixed up in, a uh, bottle of oil, gas stove, uh, there will be pots and things in there. So yeah, I'm just slowly emptying out my me, me bags, my cycle panniers. Uh, that's the one that's got the leak in, so I'm just letting it drain out a bit. Got my chair up. So I've got my trail camera, uh, my drone there, sleeping bags in there. Uh, that's my new bed that I want to show you all later. Um, that's wet actually on the outside, so I'll let that dry off a bit. Towel, uh, toilet rolls and whatever you have. My head torch, oh, some rolls over there and all my bits and pieces all tucked away. Yeah, so I'm nearly unpacked. <laughs> but like I say, I'm having to force myself to drink this at the minute because it's got a little hole in it and I don't want to waste it <laughs> oh. well that's it got all my tent all sorted now uh, got my X-ped uh, winter sleeping mat there it's a nice thick one built in pump so you don't really put any breath in there so it's not going to go mould or anything this is super soft and it's filled with foam as well so it insulates you from the ground I've got my Trekology pillow there, that's a new pillow I bought myself and my Rab Ascent 700W uh, down sleeping bag which is super 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 warm and it's the W because it's the, the woman's version if you've seen any of my videos before uh, I did do a review on it I bought the, the ladies version instead of the men's because the ladies is wider across the hip 
and because I'm not too broad across the shoulders I can snuggle myself in there and I can still bring my knees up and turn myself over quite comfortable because you've got the extra width across the hip area oh, I love this bag so yeah I've got everything all set up uh, just got to have a bit of a tidy up where I've just been blowing my bed up <laughs> made a bit of a mess in my kitchen Well, hello there. <laughs> Sitting in my tent, listening to fireworks, drinking my beer. I've had to put my hat on though. <laughs> it is a tiny bit chilly out there tonight, and that wind is still a little bit gusty. And cheers. Hope you're enjoying your evening. And I hope you're enjoying this video. Well, here is today's camping tip for you. When you're out camping, put your can of your Coke or your beer or whatever else inside your boots. That way, it won't fall over. <laughs> Doesn't matter how windy it gets. It's a good little can holder. Well, got fireworks and rain now. <laughs> I don't mind sitting in my tent and I love the sound of rain anyway. It's only spitting but it was quite heavy a minute ago. I actually zipped up the tent. I want to think about cooking my dinner. I've got that. Nice, lovely. Beef quarter pounder tonight. Took them out of the freezer. You said before I left, so they were frozen. Obviously, now it's been frosty. Got some lettuce and tomatoes, uh, double cheese, I'll keep the food in here. Now I've opened it. So I don't know. Local wildlife eating what I've left over. I might have to turn on my camera light in a minute. There's, so you can see a bit better. Excuse the noise. Turn off. That one for a minute. Now, ah, what shall we have with it? We've got a twist of barbecue sauce with tomato sauce. I'm going to have some barbecue sauce with this one. for a few seconds. Been sitting here listening to some music and listening to the fireworks in the background. <laughs> As I most people told you earlier on the way. A bit of rain. 
swim up in this. It might be a bit chilly, but I've got plenty of warm clothes on. Nothing better than out camping, cooking on the beach. in a few minutes. Oh, it's cooking away beautiful now. Yeah. Got plenty of lettuce there. Two bits of cheese. And obviously we need tomato. So slice up now. Wonderful. Right, I turned the um, power off a minute ago. Just here if it's all raining. Well, could I say I took it off the gas a minute ago. It's actually stopped raining, but that wind is really kicking up out there. I'm still loving it though, I'm loving it. Uh, the bugs will attract into me light, so I'm going to get the oil off into me. Big sort of sub. Yeah. See when you're cooking in a tent, you do need to open the, the flap. You've got it closed. Uh, cook the fumes obviously, so just take care when you're cooking your tent. So, because it's a quarter pounder, I've now cut it in half. It's obviously cooking on a little gas stove like this. I'm going to make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Uh, cooked from what was the outside. So I've now got to flip it over, cook it there. Flip it over again, it'll be ready. Can't beat it. Being outdoors, cooking outdoors. Doesn't matter what time of year, what the weather's like. As long as you've got a decent tent, decent clothing, and you prepare in advance, wrap up warm, keep dry, most of all, keep safe. Enjoy your dinner. Well, there we have it. A burger and a beer. Oh wow, just looked outside my tent. And look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, after taking that brief shot of that beautiful red sky this morning, the sun quickly disappeared. Uh, looks like it might appear again. So I thought I'd set up the camera, just in case. Maybe get some lovely shots of the sun. Let's wait and see. Coffee time, isn't it? And a small in. I'm going to have. I've got a Nest Cafe. Nest Cafe three in one caramel. Uh, these are left over from Halloween the other week. So I want some caramel ones. 
actually they're quite nice so I thought for my coffee this morning I've got to have a three in one caramel a little bit of a sugar boost <laughs> give me a bit of extra warmth Yeah, it's turned out to be a lovely morning actually. It's a tiny bit chilly. Uh, but that breeze from yesterday's died down, so yeah. Just had the drone up a minute ago. But I don't think the footage will be that good because the weather's not that good, but the sun's appearing over there. Uh, check back with me in a second. I've got my coffee. Well, looks like that water's boiling. Oh yes, look at that. I love this, being outdoors. Just being out with nature. Listening to the birds this morning. That's my titanium windshield, I've had to put that on. It just uh, helps the gas. Oh, beautiful. Caramel coffee. Cheers. but it's beautiful <laughs> well I must admit it wasn't so chilly that glorious sunshine it'd be hard to believe that it's Sunday <laughs> just after bonfire night. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like I say, it's just a tiny bit chilly. So I've been sitting here thinking about my breakfast and I've got a burger left from last night and some salad. Um, but I also brought two eggs with me. So I'm not sure whether to have a burger. <laughs> And uh, an egg with it, or whether to do a little mini omelette. <sighs> choices, choices. One of the best things about being outdoors camping is there's no rush. Just take the day as it comes. But if that sun keeps out, I'm going to enjoy this. I'll stay a little bit longer than what I was going to because I planned. I'm leaving today about lunchtime. Uh, but I might leave late afternoon. See what happens. As long as I've got my coffee, I'm happy. So I've decided this morning that I'm going to cook myself a fried egg roll. <laughs> got some ketchup and some lettuce and tomato left from last night but yeah I've got, I've got some eggs I've got myself a little pot of oil it's an empty yogurt pot I find it really easy to carry oil in one of these that's a bit too much I've 
the yolk. I've got to do that all the time because I prefer my egg to be broken. I don't like a runny egg that dribbles out and can be chin. <laughs> Take a few minutes. It's absolutely glorious today. The weather is absolutely beautiful, I must say. I don't carry butter or anything like that when I'm out camping. What I do, I collect my little sauce sachets and things from the pieces I have at home. Or when I go to a place like McDonald's or Burger King or anything like that, I always get an extra sauce. So who's carrying butter around? Because butter, when it gets warm, obviously it melts. Uh, nearly done already, look. I have left my little wooden spatula at home that I normally bring with me. Bit my little bag. I do have a, a wooden spoon. Spork. So I suppose the spork will do because it's with the oil it hasn't stuck anyway. Look at that, beautiful. again uh, just taking a wander up to the bin to get rid of me ru rubbish from my lunch and show you just how far that tide's come in it's amazing just how far it's come in here the little sand pyramid's gone now look <laughs> So if you remember when I showed you earlier on how far the tide was out, you can see just how far it's coming on the beach now. It's incredible really. But it's so flat there, uh, into the water. I mean you can see the water going around the island on the other side there, glistening in the sun. So it goes around just up there. But it's surprising, like I was saying, that it's so flat, it seems to go out for so far. Now some days you look at it and it's really out, and it looks like it's all the way out to that wind farm out there. It's not, it's about half the way I think, but it goes out a really, really long way. So, the day's still pleasant, except for that breeze, obviously. Sorry about the wind noise again. 
but I've got about another hour I think before I'm going to start thinking about having a slow pack up and heading off home I want to get home reasonably early today so I can start editing the video and preparing ready for the week at work ahead go oh. <laughs> something we have to do though to pay the bills it's still pleasant that's the thing for the 7th of November today it's still very pleasant a little bit of a breeze like I say but uh, it's not coming down from the north like it was earlier on in the week it's actually warmer today than it was all week I'm just gonna sit here chill out for a little bit longer and think about having a slow pack up so I've got all my stuff packed up in my pannier bags and my backpack there and my back for my bike so just thought I'd have one quick last look make sure that I've left nothing and I can't see anything so as you can see that's where my feet have been that's where my bed was obviously and then my awning bit my kitchen part was there so I picked up all my rubbish put it in the bin left no trace and that grass will spring back in a day or two very very quickly actually especially this time of year that's probably next time I come <laughs> it'll look like that <laughs> but just to show you um, compared to where I am just next to me which I'm sure that wasn't waterlogged yesterday so I walked along there there's a great big puddle appeared and we didn't have that much rain last night and the bit I first looked at to camp when I first arrived here was just there and all this water here and down there and over there so I said about camping here when I first come this definitely wasn't wet like this yesterday and I can't believe that's from the rain so it must be coming from underground a little bit so when you come down here this time of year you do have to be careful where you actually pitch up because I could have been pitched there quite easy and woke up in a puddle <laughs> but luckily the bit of ground that I chose here stayed nice and dry and there it was quite flat as well so I chose a good spot in the end so I'm going to start loading up my bike and then we'll have one quite one quick last look at the sea getting tongue-tied now because I'm getting excited <laughs> the thought of coming back again not the thought of going home 